if the rotary hook of your machine is out of timing, that also can cause a lot of thread breaks. Let me show you how you can check the rotary hook timing. To check the rotary hook timing, we must remove the needle plate. In order to load the needle, push and rotate the block knob counterclockwise until you see the tip of the hook on the back of the needle. This is the tip of the hook. You must stop when the tip of the hook is on the back of the needle. That is your timing position. Now we must check if we are in the correct degree. Now let me show you the rotary hook. These three screws are what's holding the rotary hook in place. To readjust the rotary hook, you need to loosen this screw and this screw. You will leave tight the sticking out screw. So now I'm going to loosen the first screw. Then I will rotate the main shaft in order to expose the second screw. Then I will loosen the second screw. Then I will rotate the rotary hook to the timing position that I want to set it up. In this case I want to change my timing from 202 to 200 degree. So I will place my main shaft at 200 degree. So now I will loosen the stick it out screw and I will reposition the rotary hook to 200 degree and then I will tie up the screw. I just want to remind you that the tip of the rotary hook goes at the back of the needle the closest possible but not touching the needle. This is how you can test to see if you have a gap between the tip of the rotary hook and the needle. After you have successfully readjusted the rotary hook timing, make sure to tie the other two screws of the rotary hook. Once you're finished, reset the main shaft by pressing the 100 degree icon. Then place back the cover Put the two screws on the side and tighten them up. Then place back the needle plate, put the two screws on the top and tighten them up. Put one drop of oil into the rotary hook and then place back the bobbin case into the hook assembly.